Hi, I'm Mrs. Fredbeck, and this is my second period anatomy and physiology class, and this is Warrior TV News. Good afternoon, Warriors. I'm Haley. And I'm Megan, and this is your September 23rd feature edition of Warrior TV News. Today we will be tuning in to what goes into the Warrior Beat radio program. Next, get a further insight on the Tech Warriors. Finally, we will head to the auditorium to get a closer look at the production of this year's fall play. All this and more on today's feature edition of Warrior TV News. Mics. Cameras. Computers. Action. I believe Warriors can film the world. Warriors, come out and support the fall play. Radium Girls. Opening night is tonight at 7 p.m. There will be two more performances. On Saturday at 7 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. See you there, Warriors. If you haven't been able to make it to a Warrior sporting event, you might have tuned in to Warrior Beat Radio's live commentary and updates. Jeffrey and Anna head up to the press box to get an inside look on what work they have been producing and plan to produce this year. Warrior Beat Radio has been the voice covering Whiteland Warrior Athletics for several years now. Warrior TV goes to Mr. Wood and the student broadcasters to gain insight on the WCHS radio program. I got away from everything for a year and then decided I missed being involved in athletics in some capacity. I think it's a great way of help giving publicity to what our students are doing. I think it's a great way of letting people who can't come into the game be able to hear things that go like on. That it's great. I mean, each year I have a, I don't want to say I have an each, each year it's not totally different kids, but you have that nucleus plus new kids. And what they do is unique each year compared to the previous group. And the neat thing is seeing some of those students take the leadership and develop what needs to be done for us to be successful each year. There's a lot behind the scenes. Um, some of that entails the students doing some research, like for the upcoming football game on Friday night, trying to see what's in the Daily Journal for how the Whiteland team's doing, or we're playing a local team such as Franklin, um, what we know about Franklin from a previous article, um, some more researching uh, what's going to be coming up. Uh, for me, it's more getting more of the technical stuff set up, the, the equipment ready to go, making sure the file is ready to be processed when we actually start streaming it on the Internet. Three different ways. Uh, the one is through the high school website. There's a link for WCHS Radio, uh, which is also wchsradio.cpcsc.k12.in.us. We also have a TuneIn app. If you go to TuneIn.com and you search for Whiteland High School Radio, uh, you can pull it up that way, as well as we now have a low FM transmitter for local home sporting events that is 87.9 FM, and that gets you about a one-mile radius from the high school. Now that we have gotten the vision from Mr. Wood on Warrior Beat Radio, Warrior TV goes to the student broadcasters to get their insight on the program. Uh, it's, it's, been, it's been fun. This is my second year doing it. Uh, both years I've been doing play-by-play. Play. Um, it's, it's just a good time right being able to be up there in the box. Just being able to be up there giving my opinion, this, this is not going letting going other people side. hear the game without having to go in some of the bad conditions that we get. It's just a great atmosphere and it makes you feel it's like you really are like the professionals out on the 
Colts games or different other sporting events. So it's it's really fun. Um, everyone's very inclusive. Like they're very nice about everything. And it obviously it has a really good payoff because you get to work with other people with technology and it also looks really good on resumes and it also goes with doing my telecom and stuff like that and it just kind of accents everything else I'm really into. Warrior TV has gotten a huge look inside Warrior Beat Radio. Be sure to watch the Warriors take on Martinsville tonight on the WCHS radio website or the TuneIn app. From the Press Box, I'm Jeffrey here with Anna, Warrior TV News. If you're interested in coming to this beautiful destination, join the Travel Club in their 2018 trip to Costa Rica. See Mrs. Breidinger and Mrs. Leach for more information. The Tech Warriors have made it their mission to supplement and smooth the transition into the Chromebook era of WCHS. Sam and Victoria crack the code of what goes into Tech Warrior program. With the addition to Chromebooks this year, WCHS has needed a new IT team known as Tech Warriors. Warrior TV is going behind the scenes to see how this new team of students is helping the school and what went on to create the class. Tech Warriors is a student-led help desk that was started this year because of the rollout of the one-to-one -one initiative with the Chromebooks. So it's um, a student internship where, it, like I said, it was student-led and, and they're the ones that can help fix Chromebooks. Um, they're the ones that students go to for help with technology. Uh, eventually they're going to be fixing the um, broken computers as well. Okay, so we started the Tech Warriors. When we started looking at um, uh, what other schools have done, and a few of the schools we went to, we saw kids working on um, the Chromebooks, whether they were damaged or if there was a, techno a technological issue with it. And we just really liked that. It was, we thought it'd be another way to get students involved in something uh, that would be a skill that could possibly could transfer over to when they graduate or something they're gonna be interested in in college or, or just something that, that they just may like to do. And so we wanted to give the opportunity for students here to do the same things we'd seen other students do a really good job with in other buildings. I think eventually this is going to evolve into that these kids are going to you know fix the Chromebooks, have a little more say in, in what apps and extensions we use. They're going to be the, the go-to uh, unit of people that students have if they have you know apps or extensions that they want to use. They're going to be the ones that dis to decide and eventually they're going to have some um, say in, in what we do with the Chromebooks. Uh, so some of the uh, responsibilities they have, a lot of it is, is running back and forth to rooms a lot, taking uh, students a Chromebook if theirs isn't charged or if it's um, uh, you know, just not working right and checking on it. Um, they inventory a lot of things to say Here, here's which ones we have out, here's what Chromebooks need to be given back to students that have been charged. After seeing how Tech Warriors was started, Warrior TV talks to the students to see how they got involved and what they're looking forward to this year. So last year when they were really teaching everyone about going one-to-one -one with Chromebooks, the school kind of thought, hey, let's get a team of students that is really interested in technology and knows a bit about it to kind of be in charge of uh, managing, fixing the Chromebooks and making sure students are integrated into them better. And I was fortunate enough to know Ms. Reinhold, who uh, is kind of leading this organization, and she recommended me for it. And I was like, yeah, this is a great opportunity. I'll definitely join into this. Mainly we issue out loaners and uh, we log those loaners in this uh, spreadsheet here. Looks like we got almost 600 so far this school year, so uh, just remember to charge your Chromebooks mostly. And then um, troubleshoot for Wi-Fi problems that we had at the beginning of the year. Um, and if students had like individual issues, like a common one is changing the language to Spanish and stuff, we fix that. What we're hoping to do is right now, if we have any physical Chromebook issues or 
uh, Chromebook issues software-wise. We just send that back to Dell, they fix it, and then give us a new one. Uh, but we're hoping is to start doing that ourselves. Uh, once we can get some more approval and learn about the Chromebooks a little bit more, we can start taking them apart and doing replacements ourselves so we don't have to send it to Dell. The Tech Warriors will be doing that themselves. Tech Warriors is off to a great start this year. For more information, talk to your guidance counselor or Mrs. Reinhold today. From outside the library, I'm Sam, here with Victoria, Warrior TV News. Welcome WCHS students to Roundabout 101. Here, I will be educating you about the rules of our beloved roundabout. Okay, roll the clip. Now, warriors, always slow down when approaching the roundabout and yield, I repeat, yield to traffic already on the roundabout. Now let's see how the rest of the scene plays out. No, no! What is this silver van doing? You do not drop your kids off in a roundabout. <sighs> Back to the clip. Remember, warriors, always go right and continue counterclockwise in the roundabout. Here's a clip of a properly functioning roundabout. And that's all we have for you on Roundabout 101. The actors and actresses of this year's fall play Radium Girls have been hard at work these past couple weeks in preparation for opening night. Lachlan and Christopher go backstage to check out the dedication and effort going into Radium Girls to make it an unforgettable performance. Each year, the WCHS Theatrical Warriors start off the year with an annual fall play. Here, Warrior TV meets with the director, Ms. Smith, and the students to reveal what kind of work goes into making the fall production. This year's fall play is titled Radium Girls. It's a story about the historical facts regarding the painting of luminescent dials post-World War I of watches so they glow in the dark and they used radium paint. And the young ladies um, that worked there and their exposure to the radium paint and what came of that and workmen's rights. And the proceedings and the things that followed that, learning to be more conscientious about how we treat our employees and not just the almighty dollar. There's multiple reasons people should go to see the fall play. The first being it's a school event involving students and you should be supporting all school events because that's what we're here for, we're a school. You should also attend the fall play to enrich yourself culturally. Everyone needs cultural enrichment and to be in touch with other things that are beyond their scope and world. And where else are you going to get live entertainment for under $10? The thing I most enjoy about <laughs> high school theater work is interacting with students and watching people grow and change and learn. And that's the whole point of being here. I expect them to be excellent, which is what I expect of every cast. I expect hard work and dedication and growth and excellence. After speaking with Miss Smith, Warrior TV takes a trip backstage to gain some insight from the cast and crew about their expectations for this year's production. My role is Grace Fryer, who is a worker in the radium plant, and I love her. She's definitely my favorite role that I've ever played ever. This is my seventh production in high school. I will be the only possible eight production senior. This production, I'm really excited in regards to trying out this new character of mine. Definitely my character, because I've never played somebody historically, so it's definitely really cool being able to interpret somebody that like was actually real. <laughs> well, uh, it, this is gonna be my first dramatic production. Most of mine have been comedies or uh, more character associated. This is a little more dramatic and it's a little more serious and historical, of course. The, the idea of auditioning was kind of a challenge for me because I have never auditioned in my life ever and it was quite nerve-wracking, but I got over it and I actually got cast for the play, which was amazing. My big role is Raymond Barry. He's the defense attorney and lawyer for the Radium Girls, and I couldn't be happier with him. 
for the first three years of my high school experience, I was on the fence about doing the fall play. And I was always afraid of the monologue and afraid of, you know, what might come with just trying to memorize lines. With this production, I'm really excited to work with the seniors in their last year. It's really sad to see that they have to go, but I know that they're going to do great things. I'm also really excited in regards to the new people. There's always new people that come into the fall play every year. And so it's really nice to meet all these new people and just get to know them and kind of bond as a family because the theater family is one of my favorite families ever, and I love it. It's such a rewarding experience, and it's definitely, definitely worth it coming from someone who almost didn't do it four years in a row and then finally did it. It's plain to see that the drama warriors have been hard at work on this year's fall production. Be sure to tell your fellow classmates to break a leg and come out tonight, tomorrow night, and Sunday evening to support them. From outside the WCHS Auditorium, I'm Lachlan, here with Christopher, Warrior TV News. And that's all we have for you on this feature edition of Warrior TV News. Until next time, have a good one.